now let's talk about what set our batteries apart um, from other batteries. First of all, the technology. Now, these are lithium ion. Uh, previously, or even currently, people are still using lead acid battery. Uh, deep cycle lead acid battery, 7 amp hour or so, um, on their kayaks to run all the accessories, or the 12 volt, be it a fish finder, LED lights, and so on. So, a, a lead acid battery, they will rate you, that generally, they will give you about 300 to 350 life cycle. Now, that life cycle is based on a 50% depth of discharge, DOD. So meaning if you discharge it down to 50% and charge it back up, you can get 350 cycles um, from your lead acid battery. And if you go less than that, guess what? Your life cycle of 350 or so will start to go downhill quite rapidly depending on how often, how frequently you drain your battery below the 50% mark. So. A 7 amp battery, generally a, a 7 amp hour lead acid, uh, the rectangular ones. Um, so at 50%, guess what? 3.5 amp hour, that's all you're supposed to uh, drain it down to. And it's quite hard to monitor, uh, especially when you're on the water. I mean, how, how, how do you gauge it's 50%? Oh, you know, so even with that, um, you're already using half of the available capacity if you want that good life cycle out of your battery, out of your investment. So now moving forward, these are 17, this is 17 and a half amp hour, seven amp hour. Let's check the weight. Turn me these trusty scale on. Here we go, we're in grams. So with this battery, 448 grams, okay? 446, 446 grams. And the 17 and a half amp hour, 12 volts is, comes in at 917 grams, okay, under one kilo. So that is totally amazing. Now for the lead acid, you're just going to check online, just put in, you know, uh, 7 amp hour lead acid battery and you can see the weight. This is just a fraction of the weight, it's totally amazing, very super lightweight. And now let's talk about the, um, the discharge of our batteries. How many cycles can you get out of it? Fantastic that they are lightweight uh, and, and the footprint is only yay small, very small. Now let's talk about the cycles of the 17 and a half. You can get 4,200 cycles of the, on the 17 and a half with a discharge uh, uh, current of one amp. Okay, we've set a bench, a bench line of one amp discharge. So with this you can get, uh, get 4,200 cycles at one amp. That, that's discharging it down to 90%. 90% is, now you don't even have to worry, if, are you going to go over 90? No, because our battery management system, uh, the BMS, which is basically the intelligent, it's, it's, it's a control board, um, it's the intelligent part, which stands between the draw, which is your appliance, and the actual battery, the raw battery cell. So between it, there's an intelligence that tells it to turn off or to give power. So as far as safety, we'll talk about it later on. So let's talk about the, uh, the, the discharge cycle. So 4,200 at one amp, and this baby one here, the seven, and, uh, the seven amp hour, can give you 600 discharge cycle down to 90% at one amp. Now let's talk about why one amp. Now the Lorentz 4, Hook 4, the Lorentz Hook 4 Fish Finder, and the Garmin Striker, Four. they will draw 0.4 amps, so 400 milliamps. And for those uh, using larger fish finders, such as the Lorentz Elite 7 Ti2, uh, which is a seven inch, um, a seven inch monitor, and actually, for a matter of fact, any seven inch monitor, they would um, generally all draw about one amp, one amp current, so it's a thousand milliamps. <laughs>